Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And uh, well, that bright, light's bright. Uh, let's sit over here. We're going to do, uh, do a video and catch up on a few bits and bobs. Uh, if that's alright with you, I don't use a dorm in bedroom, I ain't done one in bedroom for a bit, have I? Uh, what's been happening in boxing? Groves and Frampton, intense beef. Andy Ruiz race. Andy Ruiz weight loss. Pfft, what's all that about? Who cares? As for me, it still gets cancelled if they all and they all claim off insurance. That's what I reckon could happen, but. That's a, that's me. I'm sceptical, aren't I? I'm always looking for conspiracies, aren't I? Matron visa lies. You know, earn, earn Eddie earn yet more sit downs with Coogan. I mean, I seem to be going online and I see Eddie earn in a in a in a in a, in a sit down we somebody every two minutes and it's all it's all like a little bit clubby in it it's all it's all getting a bit too friendly in it dazone dragging canelo versus crusher they were dragging that out weren't they for want usc on at the same time you know is dazone in trouble you bet it's in trouble uh, KSI Logan Paul that tells you that Dazone's in trouble but they're going to do Anison Gibb versus Jake Paul now they've got millions and millions of uh, followers and uh, my mole tells me that Eddie Hearn's going to go for that fight next and they're going to keep pumping out these shows in America with these YouTube stars uh, it's Jake Paul's. It's Jake Paul's Logan Paul's brother, isn't he? They're going to keep pumping these YouTube fights out, headlining, and they're going to put Billy Joe, Amy, and them sort of people on undercard. And that's how desperate it's become now for Eddie Hearn. Desperate, desperate stakes now, isn't it? But what's going to happen is, personally, I think that somebody's going to get hurt. Uh, we've already had a death this year, haven't we? And a death last year. Uh, somebody's going to get hurt. Now these promoters, when there's a death, they can come out and say things like, oh, I don't know if I want to continue and all that. And look, we had it with Steffi Ball, didn't we? He, he were retiring, wasn't he? Oh, I'm retiring, I can't do with this. And then they come back, don't they? It's just paying your lip service, that's what it's called. Speaking of Steffi Ball, I'll come to you in a bit, Ginger. Uh but uh you know it's it's just knackers in it these people they say one thing and do another it's for pr and for column inches and that they're just keeping you stringing stringing you along but uh but now it's somebody's gonna get hurt but like i said be ready for an eason gibb versus jake paul remember i told you that first uh mr bean a new, no, new Sky Company man, Matthew Macklin. Were truly awful, weren't they, on the Crawler show? But that that's... Uh, but that's Sky for you, isn't it? Uh, the KSI Logan Paul thing, it's a shit feast in my opinion. Will Vladimir come back at 44? Yeah, they'll come back. Greedy. Can he win a belt? Yeah, the division's weak. Does he beat Wilder, Ruiz, Fury, AJ, Usyk, White and Ortiz? Well, we don't know, do we? But there's enough people there to be doing uh, pay-per-views. Barry McGuigan getting stick online, but I think people shouldn't judge Barry before his court case. Personally... I am a massive Barry McGuigan fan and you know I watched a, I watched a, a fight the other night, I got bored I got bored one night in bed middle of the night so I watched uh, Carl Froch versus Jermaine Taylor 
and the commentating on that was spot on. Frotch struggled, didn't he, early on? Barry McGuigan told it as he saw it, didn't he? And he's Frotch's mate. He's known Carl Frotch since he was 12 year old, and uh, he just told it straight. He just told it straight. Now, you don't get that from Adam Smith or Matthew Macklin or any of that lot, do you? Because they're not allowed. They're not allowed to... They're not allowed to say anything like that, are they? Do you know what I mean? Uh, they're not allowed. Uh, ooh, personally, I'm a massive McGuigan, what I've just said to you. Uh, Nigel Ben shows off as we know, but uh, sorry, Nigel Ben's not fighting, but his <coughs> his show his show is off. Uh, two seconds. Uh, what can you do? It's uh, it's just one of them things, isn't it? But Nigel's not going to fight. But if the if the show goes red, it looks to me like it's weak. I mean, why would you want to put that show on? Uh, you wouldn't want to put that show on, would you? Without Nigel Ben, he would star attraction, wouldn't he? So, two seconds. Yeah, just pull it right back and post keys, alright? Don't leave it out there because there's no tax on it. And I've got trade plates in the house, alright? Pull it right back, yeah? Alright. Uh, so, I think that's about it, really. Uh, on the Nigel Ben thing. Did Kovalev take a dive? No, I didn't think he did. Thought he ran out of gas. Thought he was a lot closer than what the judges had it. Proves to me that if you're going to beat Canelo, you've got to knock him out. Because you ain't going to beat him on points. Uh, current top 10 trainers in UK. I think I'm going to do that on a separate video. So I'll keep that on a second. I'll keep that to one side that's going to be a separate video I've got my top 10 there what I think's the top 10 in country at the moment looking on looking at it that's in my opinion by the way who out of today's current active UK boxers do you feel could end up not making most of their talents well I already said Frankie Gavin didn't I I'm a big Frankie Gavin fan uh, a lot of people give me a lot of stick for that why I just think that Frankie Gavin's a great fighter or was a great fighter. I just don't think he meant most of his talents. He was really a lightweight. But, you know, he ended up fighting at I mean, light middle. Or coming in at light middle. You know, it, you know, he, he always... That extra stone, he just couldn't do it, could he? And he's got skills to burn. Him and Billy Joe were standouts, weren't they, in that amateur squad going to Beijing. Frankie didn't even have his fight out there. He missed weight and... Billy Joe, he ended up uh, not winning a medal, didn't he? But uh, I like Frankie Gavin. Plus, he sparred Steffi Ball years ago and bashed him, bashed him up. Didn't didn't you, Frankie? Fun time, Frankie. Frankie Gavin, Billy Joe Saunders, skills to burn. Yeah, Billy's undefeated to weight champion, but he he could have been another Ray Leonard and dominated. He still can. Billy Joe can go up to like heavyweight if he wants and dominate. He's that good. I always feel with Billy Joe that there's there's summer that he's not giving us. He's always like practicing his art, isn't he? A bit like Roy Jones used to. He's like I said, he's like Frankie Gavin has got skills to burn. I like Frankie Gavin. Dennis likes him, I like him, we both like him. Billy and Frankie though, but uh, are skills to burn. But I like Frankie. And uh, but like I've just said there, I think that uh, I need my other glasses. I think that uh, Frankie Gavin will go down as biggest waste of talent in country. And Billy Joe won't, because he's obviously he's gone through levels and he's British all the way up to weight champion. But he's had gifts, and he since he's had gifts, Billy. He's been carefully matched, and he now. Why that is, I don't know, but he's dealt with everybody, and so you've got to give him credit. But he's had gifts and uh, people that have been tailor made for him. He's not really been in a fight, has he? That I don't know, he's not really been in a fight that you could say he's going to get beat here. And don't start giving me that Lemieux thing, don't give me that. 
Billy were probably just making out he were washed up. He had way too much filler meal, didn't he? One every round. Yeah. Let's get this camera here. I'm going to show you something. Uh, we're going to have a look at a show that's on in Doncaster now. In a couple of weeks. Hang on a minute. Dempsey Way on Box Rec Right, Dempsey Way on Box Rec There you go, Dempsey Way on, one and all Right, look at this for a show here Right, this is Steffi Bull's show in Doncaster Lee Appleyard headlining. Shocking, isn't it? In fact, let me just put that there. Two seconds. Two seconds. Let's 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 do it job properly. Let's do it job correctly. We've got to do it justice, haven't we? We've got to do it justice. We've got to do Steffi's show justice. We can't be seen as haters. We've got to tell the truth, haven't we? Because when you tell the truth gives us a bigger picture doesn't it instead of all the lies that's going about we have to tell the truth don't we like i said when you tell the truth we all know what what's going on don't we, we can't be we can't be bullshitted can we right? we cannot be we can't have people taking liberties can we we can't have it can we with fans because we're for fans aren't we right are you ready for this? Look at that for a show there. Look at that. Look at all them there. Less than two weeks to go. And you look at Dating Corner. We're on ninth today, right? It shows two week today. So it's ten days till fight week. And look at that. How many of them, how many of them fighters on there have got opponents? For example, Moeba, what's, where's he, go, where's he heading now? He's already been beat. Let's have a look at him. Right, last time out he got beat. And that was 14 months ago. Look, he's not even ranked. He's not even ranked on box rec. They brought him back. He works at next. Do you know what I mean? So forget him. James Rayworth, one and zero from Chapel Town. Don't know anything about him. He's got a win on his record against a guy two and twenty-one, which is not a bad start for him. So I can't knock him. Don't know anything about him. Ahmed Jahanzeb. Uh. He's 360 on box wreck. Let's have a look. Uh, he's beat one guy with a winning record. Nine and eight. Alright, so. Can't. Jury's out on him. He's only a babby, isn't he? Kyle Youssef, though. He's 15 and 0. From Sheffield. Now, he's 15 and 0. And in his last fight, he fought a guy. Look at that. Norton 22 what does that tell you in his in his 15 fight he beat a guy Norton 12 that's Steffi Bull for you do you remember when I said that Steffi Bull pads these kids records out and he's just open for a call from Eddie Earn? do you remember when I said that to you that's why he can't go to the next level because he's not prepared to invest is he not prepared to put any money in do you know what I mean? Now, all these kids are on here a donkey fodder. That's all they are, donkey fodder. J.A. Metgarth's making his debut. He don't even know he's fighting with less than two weeks to go. They've got James Rayworth. He's on again here. Well, he's, there's two James Rayworths. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing there. Dom Hunt, 5-0. Oh. 
Let's have a look at him. Now he's not beat anybody with a winning record. Look at that. I'm just dissecting it. Got all these know-alls in boxing who seem to know everything. Look at that. He's, he's not beat anybody with a winning record and he's fought two guys who've had the debut. Look at this, Note 23, 693, 234. What's that? Oh, he sells a few tickets, doesn't he? Oh, well, they'll keep him sweet. They'll keep wheeling him out and padding it out. Callum Simpson. Where's this kid from, Barnsley? I don't know anything about him. But he's got two wins on points against Elvis Dubb. Elvis Dub who's beat him. Uh, and this is Elvis Dub's record here. He's a guy who turns up and loses. Look at all these look at all them there. He's got more more uh, he's got more red shirts there than Anfield dressing room. Look at all them reds there. Look at that lot. Hey? Elvis Dub. Named after uh, obviously Elvis Presley. Uh, do you know what I mean? So that's uh, this kid here, Callum Simpson, but we can't knock him because he's a 2 and 0. So, jury's out on young Callum. Callum Beardo, 1 and 0. Fuck it. I mean, what is this? Is this where kids go to turn pro? Look at this. Oh, he's been in with Elvis Dub. He's another cruiserweight, 1 and 0. I don't know, but I don't know. So, we've got him on. Dempsey Whale, he's already got his opponent. He's beat a kid four and eighty-four on points. He's one and oh. He know at least he knows his opponent. That's because his dad will want to look at will want to look at who he's fighting. So they've got an opponent because his dad's on the ball. But nobody else is speaking for these other fighters, are they? Does anybody care about these other fighters? James Flint's got his opponent, he knows who he's fighting, Joe Ducker. He's fighting Joe Ducker now. Joe Ducker, if you remember, fought on our show. So, he fought on our show, Joe Ducker. Uh, what did he fought now? Here you go, Denny Sobson's show. I've actually spoke to Joe Ducker. He's a nice kid. But Joe Ducker's... Uh, He's fighting James Flint, and do you know what? <laughs> he might even beat James Flint. He might even beat James Flint. But they'll keep wheeling James Flint out because he sells a few tickets, doesn't he? And that's the name of the game, isn't it, in this business? Selling tickets. But like I said, we're looking at this show here. Whoa. It's shocking, isn't it? Levi Kin Kinosian. Now, this kid here, he's all right. I like him. But he's got one stoppage out of six, so he's not a puncher, is he? But I like him. Now, whether he goes all the way, I don't know. But, look, he's not fighting kids. He's not beat anybody with a winning record, has he? He's having his seventh fight next. He's got one stoppage. Look, 0 and 19, 5 and 84, 4 and 71, 20 and 65, 11 and 21, 1 and 18. I mean... And what, um, what what what's going on here? If this kid's any good, he'd be doing some. He'd be going somewhere now, and be fighting somebody. What are they just doing? Are they padding records out and hoping for a call for Medellin? I don't know, but they're not they're not fighting anybody. And he's got Lee Appleyard headlining. Lee Appleyard headlining. I mean, I mean he's he's thirty two year old when he gets in ring. Look, his birthdays. 21st of November, so when Lee Appleyard gets in ring, he's 32, and everybody knows in boxing that Lee Appleyard's seen better days, hasn't he? You know, he's a former English champion, but that were over two years ago. Over two years ago, since then, Lee Appleyard's lost a central area. He's lost a central area belt since then, and he's just his last win were a guy, 6 and 99, so where's Lee Appleyard going? Do you know what I mean? It's uh, Lee Appleyard headlining. Is there any TV? Let's have a look. Let's have a look if there's any TV. Which show? Uh, no, t no TV. So there's no TV. 
And look at all them there. That is pff, there's a couple of prospects there. Dempsey Wales a prospect. Can't really comment on James Raver for or the Janazab. Uh, Kyle Youssef. I mean, pff, he ain't even got an opponent. Fifteen and oh, Kyle Youssef has not got an opponent. I mean, what is going on there? Who's looking after Kyle Youssef? Who is looking after him? Who's speaking up for him? So you can expect him in to be a knockover. But look, the show, look, is just complete poo. And that's the bottom line. Complete poo. If you've got a problem, Steffi, come see me. You know where I am, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come see me. So, but other than that, it's poor. So, three opponents are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 fights, three opponents. But I think there's James Rayworth twice there. So, Steffi could have uh, stacked the card up with two people. <laughs> hey, does anybody know what they're doing over there? I don't know. But it's, it's not good, is it? It's not good, but... Best fighter on the show there, you'd have to say is... Kyle Youssef. But like I said, Kyle Youssef's last opponent has never had a win. I mean, we're that a Steffi Ball show. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, God. Steffi Ball is padding Kyle Youssef out waiting for Eddie Hearn to call him. Oh, my God. <laughs> eh? How the mighty have fallen, eh? Doing bits. Hashtag doing bits. Oh, my God. He needs to cling on to Terry Harper, doesn't he? And, uh, and Anthony Tomlinson, because he's going nowhere, is he, really? But no doubt he'll be whispering in David Allen's ear because he's going to need David Allen more than ever now, isn't he? <laughs> but it is what it is. It is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. So... Well, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's boxing, isn't it, for you? It's... Uh, it's it's the most horrible sport in the world. It's uh, I don't know. Let let let's see what's ha let's see what's happening with Mr. Bean. Let's see what's happening with Bean. Uh, let's go on to IFL TV, YouTube, and let's see what Bean's been up to. Bean. Run a bean. Could have been. Should have been. Never been. Bait bean. Bean bag. The return of Mr. Bean. That's what we should call this video, the return of Mr. Bean. Now I'm going to show you a Mr. Bean thing. I oh, know it's a Sky Sports one, isn't it? Sky Sports. Right. Way in. YouTube. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not this one. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Sky sports uh, KSI Logan Paul weigh in YouTube there you go Russell it should be on now it was on for I think this is it yeah I think this is it Bean in it Beanie Bean Patrol because I tell you what if Mr. Bean is is right, I know where there's hundreds of them. What's this here? Adverts. Skip them. Skip that. They're not getting my. Uh... Well, along on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We're in LA Live here in downtown Los Angeles. The uh, music blaring out. The party feel. It's been a, a fantastic and innovative week here in California. With me, two new friends of mine now, Ethan Payne. And Joe Weller, great to see you guys. And uh, we're all. They'll be on the patio tonight. <laughs> Two new friends of mine, lambs to the slaughter. We've got a, a mix tomorrow night. We've got two big world title fights featuring 
Yeah, two of the great names in boxing and Devon Haney and Billy Joe Saunders. And then this one that everybody is talking about, KSI. Well, I'm not fucking talking about it, Bean, so fuck off. Mr. Bean. Jesus, he's got another, he's another one with a comb over. Come on, what's going on here with this? Look at you, Bean. Yeah, you know Bean. We're on to you. We're on to you, Bean. God, how slow this is. What's going on here? going on here man let's go backwards yeah it's uh, it's a shit feast isn't it this KSI one Come along on YouTube. shut up beanie somebody sent me something Said that, said that one day hey, watch this. So, you know, the fact that it's happened organically is almost what's quite... quite organically? Tried to force it and become, but, you do, know, you know, do you think it's been boxing? Because boxing is hot at the moment. The boxing is in people's, uh, you know, landscapes because of the heavyweights, because of the likes of, of what Floyd Mayweather did, and obviously with the women's game is flying with Katie and, and so many great women as well. Do you think that's why you guys have chosen boxing? Or is it the macho thing? Is it what is it? Because you could have chosen anything. So it's almost like to our benefit as a sport that you have chosen us. I think boxing is that it's got that really addicting feel about it. You could be in the arena, I've been to fights at the O2 and there's just such a buzz in the air when you what on earth are these people going on about? Right, what I want you to watch, keep an eye out on Adam Smith now, right? He does something that's very, very seedy. And I've spotted it. And like I said, it's the return of Bean. I mean, look at him there. He's just, he's, he's just smelt something in the vicinity. Now, keep watching. Keep watching this. Bean is smelling things. Look. Senator. He's like silent at lambs. Look at him. He's smelt something now keep your eye on him even in the arena even if you're tuning into it watching it with your friends there's such a buzz about boxing in general i think it comes keep your eye on him sort of yeah. of someone across the ring really trying to get the better of you and that that is is two yeah. titans at the end of the day and anyone that steps through the ring is it egos in the yeah. youtube world well, here we are she's just entered keep watching it's the blonde watch bean now this is about two personalities two egos saying i am number one I want this and I am better Look, he, there you go. Did you see his nostrils move then? Watch him turn now. They're both so believable. You know, every word they're saying, they're saying it with such intent. And that is what it's... Ooh, look at Bean. You don't even need to be in front of Mr. Bean for him to sniff you out, here. You don't need to, do you? He is ruthless. Now, he will devour her later. Activating us, and you know, the sport of yeah, we rumbled you there, Bean, didn't we? <laughs> you know, when you've been rumbled, it's the one at the back with ginger hair. But who is this guy here talking about his previous fight with KSI? I mean, who the fuck are these two gimps here from Gimpville Island? Who the fuck are these? It defines commitment, dedication, putting in the work. And seeing who comes out on top, and that's it defines commitment, dedication, and putting in the work, and seeing who comes out on top. What the fuck is this? That's why we all love it, and, we'll see and that's why we all love it. No. Huge camp he's had, locked away under Shannon Briggs. So I think Fucking Shannon Briggs. Will there be any drug testing? That's all I want to know anyway. But tune in later for part two after tonight. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Innovation Alloys. Alright? So peace out. Fucking <laughs> Mr. Bean. Jesus. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right. Oh. I'm going to get some food now.